Hello, I'm Joe Wren. Investigators identified 30-year-old Eric Quinton Johnson as a person of interest in the murder of a Bloomington woman. Bloomington Police considers him to be armed and dangerous and to notify police if spotted. Emergency responders found 32-year-old Teresa Michael deceased in a South Basswood Drive apartment last Thursday after responding to a call about a fire in the building. An autopsy found her preliminary cause of death was by strangulation. Well, more than 1,500 confirmed COVID-19 deaths were added to the state's count today after a year-end audit of deaths. Indiana surpassed 11,000 confirmed COVID-19 deaths with the state's audit. State Health Commissioner Dr. Chris Bach says the audit required matching death certificates with positive COVID-19 tests. Well, changes made to a House bill would give the legislature more power to weigh in on emergency declarations made by a governor. Republican Representative Matt Lehman says his bill would allow the legislature to call itself into emergency session after the governor issues an emergency declaration. Now, governor Holcomb has encouraged local health departments to issue orders stricter than his throughout the pandemic, but the bill would only allow local legislative bodies to issue such orders. So I just hate to see us do something that's going to inject a lot of um, political angst into um, scientific-based decisions. The bill now heads to the full house. Here's a quick check of the weather forecast for tonight. A 90% chance of rain and snow continues. Lows down to 21 degrees in the five-day forecast. Tomorrow, partly sunny, 33. Mostly sunny Saturday and Sunday, but cooler, 31 on Saturday, 24 on Sunday before a chance of rain, snow back into the forecast on Monday. We have more news on our website. It's all at WTIUnews.org. Have a great evening.